Listen, God's work on your behalf was not completed upon your baptism. God didn't just start things off and leave it all up to you. This is why he says what he does here. God is going to carry it on to completion. This might be a good word to write down, completion and what it means. And by the way, the wording here is kind of in an intensified form. That means to fully complete. To fully complete. And the God who began that good work will certainly not allow it to end in nothing, but He, the promise here is, is that He is going to bring it to full completion. Oh boy, that, that should be a major relief. How many of you struggle with recurring sin and temptation? Doubt, anxiety? Many of you may have been Christians for decades and still there are things that trip you up. Your flesh is real and it, it fights back when you start trying to live for the Lord. Look, can we, can we all identify with that? And some days we could say with Paul, wretched man or wretched woman I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? And it is a passage like this in Philippians 1, 6, I think that just, just fills those moments of anxiety with hope and assurance and trust. The promise is, is that you are a work in progress and that God is working in you to bring you to completion. And that again is why God gives you the Spirit. The promise here is not an I hope so. Paul is convinced, Paul is certain, he has full assurance that God will finish what he completes. And again, think back to your, the day of your baptism. That was the day you were set apart. Colossians 1.13, you were transferred from the kingdom of Satan into the kingdom of his beloved son. That was the day your status changed. That was the day your position changed. That was the day that your identity changed. If anyone is in Christ, he is a what? New creation, Paul says, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. But you know, that was only the beginning. That day you were baptized into Christ, that was not an end. That was just a beginning. And now the real work lies ahead. And what is that work? That work is the task of becoming more and more like God in righteousness and holiness. And listen, God has laid that responsibility upon us all. We have all been called to imitate the moral character of God. Listen to this passage. 